Hello everyone and welcome to Against the Storm. So this is a little uh, roguelike city builder. We have this sort of campaign um, overland map which is where we select where we're going to build our towns and we've done a couple of um, tutorial missions and so now we're into the um, core gameplay. Uh, we have a competitor so you see that number one there that's where the first Dawn Company, they're going to build a city there. We could select there ourselves. Um, and as you build a city, you and assuming you complete it successfully, then we're going to push back this darkness, discover what's behind some of these question marks. Um, so you've got different terrain types. So if we select there, so that's going to be marshland, you can see. So that's going to affect what sort of um, buildings you can produce. So marshland's going to be pretty bad for um, agriculture. We've got royal woodlands. We've got coral forests. What else? Scarlet orchard. And we've got a whole bunch more marshland over there. Now, if you build near an existing town, so if I put that there, you see that um, red arrow? That means we can have a trade route between um, from that town. Um, I think that's probably uh, enough to be going on with. Oh, one more thing. So this is our um, capital city where the queen rules from. And she's the one who gives us our missions to go out and uh, establish these towns. And at the end of a mission, uh, you get rewards, which you can use to buy upgrades. So, from the tutorial missions, we've got 20 food, which I can spend to unlock um, a couple of um, these three um, missions. We've got experience, so we're only level, we're up to level three. So I'm going to unlock these two um, middle ones. And what these are going to do, they're just going to um, reduce the queen's impatience in us. So when you are establishing a town, you, you're basically up against um, a clock. So you're trying to complete um, the mission before the queen gets too impatient. And uh, we'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to skip over deeds for the moment. Um, because they're not really of any interest to us at the moment. All right, so where shall we begin? I wouldn't mind pushing down this way. We could have a trade route there. We've got Royal Woodland or Scarlet Orchard. Looks like we get slightly more reward if we go in the Royal Woodland. Okay, why don't we click into that? Okay, so once you've selected where you're going to build your town, you can select so we've got options of either um, like with nine beavers or seven beavers and a human and then two random. So the third race is uh, lizardmen. So we might get one or two lizardmen if we're lucky. I think we will go with the mixed race one. Beavers are really good. So beavers are good with all those sort of woodworking and engineering stuff. Humans are good at agriculture and lizardmen are good at uh, meat production and processing. So, the Queen's Forests were once part of the smouldering city, but the Blightstorm reclaimed this land. The royal woodlands are rich in roots, moss, broccoli, mushrooms, and flax, with a decent amount of dewberries in clay. The ground is fertile and soft. Okay, so we can have farms. Um, and we will get food and some experience. Okay. Now, finally, we can affect, uh, or we can change the difficulty, which will affect these uh, modifiers. And I'd like to start, try, try hard difficulty. Just see how hard that is. So there are seasons, there's a storm season when your, your um, population are really unhappy. So you were going to get debuffs during that. We'll get two buffs in the nice seasons. So the royal woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. The trees give more wood. All right now we've got two points to spend to just go with some starting resources. Um, I'm gonna leave the wood because that's gonna be plentiful. 
and we're going to um, get going. <coughs> All right, so what have we got here? Um, rich branches. Position in all camps is increased by 100%. That's during the drizzle phase. And then during again during the drizzle, a red sticky substance is oozing from beneath the bark, tree bark. Gain two resin every time one woodcutters cut down a tree. All right, that's quite nice. Um, but debuff. So during the storm, we're going to have minus four global resolve. Active from hostility three during the storm. Okay, so the the woodlands, your your population is scared of the woods. <laughs> the easiest way of putting it. So we have a, a counter here. So when that gets to level three, I guess, um, we're going to suffer this extra debuff. So 50% chance to consume double the amount of food during the break. Then at level five, 5% five chance to perish. Yikes, that sounds bad. Um, and then at seven, the forest will claim a villager's life each storm multiplied by the amount of years. Yeah, so you don't, we don't want to allow the woodland to get too hostile, is the bottom line from that. Now, what have we got here? So all of these little gaps here, these are little glades. The ones with skulls are, will have a dilemma that we've got to solve. Uh, but we are also going to get better rewards from those glades as well. So what I'm planning to do... We're going to have, I think, a couple of woodcutter camps. I want to cut through to one of these skull blades. Um, I think we'll go with the one up here. Uh, yeah, all right. And then the second one, we'll just cut through to some of the ones that don't have skulls in. Those, those are a bit safe. And I think we will pick that one down there. All right. So we can lay paths. It doesn't cost any resources to lay these basic paths. And they just allow our population to move around just a little bit quicker. 5% quicker, to be precise. Um, well, let's get the path down there. All right. So we've got our two woodcutters. You can set priority. So I want these to be built first. So priority five is the highest, and then I want to build some housing. So these can accommodate three people. So I want four of these. And then we will let time commence. All right, so we're going to put beavers in here because they're the wood specialists. Then we're going to say where we want them to cut. If you don't specify, they'll just cut um, the woods closest to the camp, which may or may not be what you want. Want, want a narrow little corridor into the glade because we want to cut. I don't want to get the cycle on cutting down the forest. Because the more we cut down the forest, then the more our hostility meter is going to go up. And same sort of thing up here. Keep, keep pressing the wrong key. There we go. Now we're going to get some missions pop up soon, um, but before those do, we've got three points here that we can spend in uh, picking buildings, and this is where the roguelike element comes in, because these are random, and depending on how lucky or unlucky we get, um, can uh, affect how well we're going to do. Now, I... so we're going to have fertile ground, so plantation could be quite good.
But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until I've actually broken through to my first two glades. So another thing we've just got here, every year we get a what's called a cornerstone. This is um, a buff that our queen gives us. Um, so ancient mushroom farming techniques are described here. Mushroom production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. Metallurgy proficiency, all recipes with metal or ore have the production speed increased. I'm going to go with the mushrooms. Okay, so we've got our orders now. And again, this is a bit of the roguelike element, so we get to choose between um, two choices. Different rewards. Lots of tools. Simple tools are really useful. We want a lot of those. So this one's keep the resolve above 10 for 30 seconds. That should be pretty easy to do. Um, actually, do I have any lizards? I've got one lizard, yeah, and our resolve is above 10, so that'll be easy. The other choice, though, is the beaver morale of 15. I could do that as well, but we just want to pick one, and I'm going to go with the lizards because they're going to offer me the nicer rewards in these tools. So there we go. Okay, next objective, just solve any two glade events. So we will do those over time, and we're just going to get three villager rewards. Or we can deliver 35 wood, and we could get some parts. This is better reward, and both of these are easy to do. I'm going to go with the better reward. Final mission. Okay, so packs of crops and provisions. I'll be able to make both of these. Um, we get some amber and some more villagers. Amber's quite nice. Um, put through the forest, just go to glades. Yeah. Rebuild or salvage destroyed buildings found in the forest. We don't know if we're going to find such a building, but there's a pretty high chance we will. And we're going to cut through to two glades very quickly. So plus one stone production and more tools. I'm going to go with lost in the wood. Now, oh, let's just let those houses get built before we put anything else down. to go come on lads build it there we go okay there's a couple of buildings we're going to want to build we need a crude workshop this is um you want to build this um to produce planks we will hopefully just give them better buildings but um the better buildings generally require planks in the first place so you're going to need this to jump start your economy and then the next one will be the makeshift post. Actually, I don't need the makeshift post at the moment, but at some point we'll probably want it. And we'll probably leave it at that for the moment. Yeah, at least until we break into the glades. One thing we haven't talked about is the hearth. So every settlement um, has a hearth and you've got to burn resources uh, to keep it lit. That sort of keeps back the darkness, makes everyone happy. If the hearth ever um, goes out, you lose the game. And you can upgrade it via decorations, but we're not going to do that. And you 
pretty much always want to have one of your lizard folk um, tending the half because they really like the warmth. So that gives them a morale bonus. And we have completed at least one of our missions. If I can deliver that, I'm going to get a point of reputation. I'm also going to remove one point of Queen's Impatience. So we're going to wait until we've got one full point. We'll deliver that. And what have we got down here? Okay, so we've got a small abandoned cache. This is why I say tools are so important, because these little caches, you've got to spend tools to unlock. And we could spend three infused tools if we had them. Six of the simple tools. Um, all right, well, we don't have those tools yet, so we're going to leave that. And we got some flax field, and we got some fertile soil. So we've got a nice little um, potential farm area there, which means I want some sort of farm on one of these first three picks. So we could go with plantation, that would be for berries and fibre. Um, again, I'm going to wait until we've broken through there. Let's just put back. Actually, yeah, we'll cut through there. Now you will cut us a range so you can sort of see from the colour. We're only reaching um, five of those trees, those four can't reach, but we can move our woodcutter. Alright, we've broken through to the big glade, the dangerous glade. And we have to solve this threat. So the odour of living matter is making people feel sick. So minus three to global resolve. Also, living matter has a tendency to spread. And to solve it, we have to basically just assign two people and survive this working effect. Sometimes though you've got to do other more complicated things. Um, so we're just going to have a couple of beavers. You sometimes get choices for rewards as well. We don't get a choice here. So we're just going to get some ancient tablets and crystallized dew. So let's get them working on that. So we're going to suffer from these effects for two minutes. And then it will be solved. And guess what? We've got some buildings which we need to do. We need to salvage one of these. I think that was the mission. Yeah. Rebuild one of these. Sorry, not salvage. So we've got a big encampment. Now I would need to deliver... 12 of one of these resources. Actually, no, that's that's not the building, is it? Um, leather work, though. So I could rebuild this. I could spend bricks and fabric. I don't have any fabric. Bricks and simple tools, though. I will have some simple tools soon. I don't have any of these, though. We'll leave it on bricks, though, because that's probably going to be the easiest one to build. Alright, so let's just bear in mind that we have a leather worker, and that might dictate what we. whatever buildings we select. So, leather, so we can make water skins, we can make cloth, and rather inefficiently, we can make luxury goods. Okay. And we didn't get any fertile ground up there, but... I think, therefore, I'm going to move my woodworker so we can move these around without any cost. 
which is pretty neat. And we'll just put it down there, extend our path a little bit. And I'm going to cut through to this glide as well. do. This one probably worth moving as well. I'm not going to leave it on the fertile ground but we will just move it there so it's closer to those trees. Now I want to assign someone. I want it to be a beaver really don't I? Um, Let's swap you for a human, and we will put one beaver in here. I haven't got any spare population now, but um, do I have any clay? Yeah, I've got clay. Um, let's go for the bricks first. Now, we're over one point, and I can claim this reward. That's going to give us a couple of lizard people, which will be good. It's going to be a little while before I get either of those two. So yeah, I'm going to deliver that. So you see, that's got rid of the point of impatience, and it gives us a point of reputation. We've got to fill up this bar to win and we got to make sure that this doesn't fill up otherwise we lose now all right let's let's pick what we're going to do and i'm really choosing between plantation and probably the trapper's camp actually let's just so if you press the b key we can sort of highlight what goods we have available so far. So we've got some eggs up there. We've got sea marrow. So sea marrow we can burn at our half here. That's one of the most efficient things to burn along with coal. Um, What, if you're unsure what building you need to to harvest something, as long as you've got access to a building, you can just sort of move, select it and then see what highlights when you move it around. So this one could harvest the eggs and the flax down here. Well, no, it's not flax, it's roots, isn't it? That one can harvest. I think that's flax, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the flax. Fair enough. Okay. But the trapper camp will be able to harvest those eggs as well, plus meat and insects if we find those in the future. What does Leatherworking need. Leatherworking needs plant fiber, flax, to make cloth. Plantation, we could grow plant fiber. All right, I'm, I'm going to go with the plantation. And then. So if we are making, we can turn flax into fabric here. So then fabric we can, okay, so the weaver is just also gonna make fabric. 
slightly more efficiently, but not worth wasting a building on it when we can already salvage the leather working. Um, however, it would give us access to packs of trade goods, which would be good. Um, scribe could be very nice later on. Provisioner though. I'm going to go uh, agriculture and ability to make flour and barrels would work quite nicely for making ale and then the tavern. Um, so let's go with the provisioner. And then finally, ooh, okay, so we've got lumber mill and carping. So both of these can make planks better than we currently can. We don't need a leather worker, because we're going to have that. I quite like, well, I like both of these, to be honest. Um, just to make simple tools. Assuming we could find a source of copper. Um, be able to make copper bars. But scrolls are good, but that's a pretty inefficient way of making scrolls. But it's another way of making lots of trade goods. That's a very efficient luxury good. I'm going to go with the carpenter. Ooh, and we've got one more. Alright, now kiln allows you to process um or make make coal. No, I don't think we want the kiln. I do like scribe because we might want scrolls in the future. Smokehouse if I Well probably not gonna go meet heavy in this game. All right, let's go scribe. All right, so we made our picks. How are we for people? I want someone else working in here. Yeah, let's just get those bricks made. And then we can salvage, uh, rebuild the leather worker. Oh, what happened there? Not quite sure. So, number 20 seconds, that's going to be complete. That's going to be good. Okay, so we solved the dilemma, but these guys need to deliver these goods to our settlement, so leave them assigned. And once it's done, they'll, they'll be automatically unassigned. So we're going to break through here pretty soon. There we go. Now, oh, this looks very much the same as the last one. Different reward. Nice to get some amber. And some extra parts as well. Can't complain about that. I don't have the people at the moment. Um, okay, let's unassign you. We'll just have two lizards solve this. Get that underway as soon as we can. How many tools? I've only got four simple tools at the moment, so it would be quite good to solve one of these big encampments just to get some more people. Humans and beavers. I think that would be a nice one. I don't have a spare people there. So we'll wait until these guys have picked up all these goods and then we'll probably try and solve that. 
Whoa. All right, so I need to move this woodcutter somewhere. Where next? Could just carry on down into this dangerous glade. Oh, we only really want to work on one dangerous glade at once, especially with our population being a little bit low. into the next glide. Let's just trim back those trees a little bit. And then we can get us hopefully a straight path through there. And then we'll build a plantation. Another thing I want to do, I've got no way, I, yeah, I've got no no meat producers or gatherers. So it'd be quite good to get a meat gatherer building. Okay, I've got enough bricks. So let's turn off the brick recipe and we'll stick with just the wood. more population and guess what the year has ended and we get some newcomers so I think we want to go with um, the varied group the rewards are nothing special either way but I prefer humans and the beavers for the most part especially as we are uh, not going uh, meat eating much at the moment, well, we're not going meat eating at all. Okay, so I've got another uh, delivery I can make, and yeah, there's no harm in doing that. We've got a cornerstone, so reputation from resolve grows 5% faster for every two villagers with the leisure need fulfilled. So I think we need a tavern for that. Um, Blight fighters use the holy, the hearth's holy flame to ignite their flamethrowers. Burning in a blight rock cyst takes five seconds less. But the hearth's corruption grows 30% faster. Um, let's go with the reputation. And then we will deliver that. Get our reward. A few more tools. And what we're going to get here. All right, well, we've got a trapper's camp. Um, so I think that's got to be what we're going to pick. Because we've got all this food down here that I want to harvest. 
So yeah, we'll pick that. We'll build a road down here. We want our plantation as well. So I want this to cover as many of these fields as possible. Which means we we want it there. And there's a tree in the way. that down then once you've chopped that down we want to break through down there where is our other um, tree cutter You're over there. Okay, so let's move. I think we'll just have you over here. We'll just break through to a couple of these smaller blades. are idle in leather worker. Do I not have the resources? Oh, I've got the... I've got the bricks. I need you to deliver them. Oh, I haven't selected a reward. Get working. Now, I'll also have two new orders we need to take a look at, so I'd need to get 35 grain, I'd need to farm for that, i get a bunch of humans, and some incense, oh, I need jerky, uh, which I don't think I've got any way of making at the moment. Top 10 tips on how to cook more efficiently with Shahilda. Gain 5 jerky for every 10 pies produced. And the other one was, yeah, grain. I haven't got a way to make either of those. Um, I don't believe anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, because it means I've got to guess which one I'm going to go for. we we'll find another fertile field. Well, so this one I'll have to find, I'd have to get a card, small farm. This one I would need the, there's a building that allows us to turn meat into jerky. Yeah, or I just leave it unpicked for the moment. However, then I don't know what my second mission might be. All right, I need to assign lizards ideally to this building. So I've got the meat to... We 
hold the lizard there, we can see where our lizards are currently assigned. So we've got one in the leather worker and then two down here solving this dilemma. Well, delivering the items from the dilemma. Hey, we've got another mission finished. And we've... Yeah, we've got over a point, so... Let's deliver that. And I would like this to be worked on as well. Two humans. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. And I want. Welcome, newcomers. Oh, I. What do I want to choose? We'll go with meat. So once we get this uh, carpenter's shop up, we can stop um, using the planks. We still might need to use it for fabric, but um, in fact we need a couple of fabric, don't we? However, I think, yeah, we'd, we'd use a leather worker, wouldn't we? Yeah. So let's have a couple of... That's interesting, we've got meat specialisation. Once we get the carpenter up, we can demolish this building. We won't need it anymore. Well, unless I need bricks. <laughs> okay, we'll just have it idle. Okay, pick up a new blueprint. Give me something good. <laughs> Look at that, I got a jerky. Of course I got a jerky. So I picked the other one. Wow. I suppose we at the smokehouse. We may as well build it. Across from here, 
Half down here. Uh, okay, no, it's a little bit too close for a half. So let's have a scoot around, decide what we want to do. So we've got plant fiber going into there. We are going to grow plant fiber in the farm. So that's a nice, nice production chain there. We're going to grab all of this food. We're going to turn it into jerky here. I don't want either of those selected for the moment. It's quite nice that you can sort of select your recipes before, even before the building has been built. And you want to carry on cutting through there. Find out what is down there. Um, oh, we didn't pick this. Well, that's that worked out okay then. So we're going to go with the jerky one then. And so ten luxury goods or ten building materials. This will give us plus three resolve to our beavers. Twenty copper bars would be pretty nice as well. I think it's going to have to be the building materials. That's made. So this we can turn off. I will let you finish that batch of materials. can make simple tools with crystallized dew. Didn't realize that. I thought you had to have copper. That's quite nice. Now building materials we need to make in a makeshift that can make bricks. If I have, I can get rid of that building. Doesn't look like I have. No. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll just leave it unoccupied.
getting cloth coming up here. No, we're making cloth here. Okay. So have I got anything that I can turn the cloth into? put down the trading post. Ooh, lizard resolve is low. It's gonna go negative. It's gonna go negative, they can desert. So we need... Not making the jerky. So I'm just checking where the rest of my lizards are. Others is going to be a little bit happier with that change. New threat discovered, ancient shrine. I think that I've been running for a little bit, haven't it? Okay, disturbing the ruins of the great civilization that have grave consequences kills five random villagers. Yikes. So if I don't solve this in just under seven minutes, we're going to lose a whole bunch of people. tools to solve it. I'm making fabric, but I'm not sure I'll have 16 in time. Might have though. That would be the best solution. How much flax have we got? that I think that is blight no it's oh no that's one of our it's one of our humans <laughs> you can get blight pods popping up during the storm I was wondering if that's what it was I don't actually have plant fibre at the moment. I've got leather to make some more cloth. Still, that's only two every 30 seconds. I'm only going to be able to make another six, which is not good enough. So where, where was that dilemma? I want to have to spend tools on this, but I'm going to have to. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of scrolls, a lot of coal. Get a little bit of reputation now, there's an Uber option. And Amber is good trading. How much amber have I got? I've got 
21 armor. Ooh, fifth choice. I'm gonna go with keep the goods. And I think we are going to call it a day for this episode. We will uh, continue this in the next one, and I hope to see you there. Let me know if you're enjoying the game. Uh, and if you're enjoying the video, give it a like, subscribe. You know the drill. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.